just so that you know, the cabinet meeting is going on in Belmopan. And when I checked the schedule, there was a conflict. But I opted to come here instead of going to the cabinet meeting this morning. I'm still going eventually, and hopefully they will, they will still be there and the meeting will still be going on. But I decided to come this morning because this is very important for Belize. My opponent had a big shindig, the civic, right? So I don't want to think, I don't want to show up today because they intimidate me. <laughs> I am a young person. I know how to take on challenges. Life on the road to success is never easy. It's bumpy sometimes. You take your lick and you move on, but you never give up. Next year is an election year. And I don't care whether I go vote for people. Actually, I do care, but I, that, that's not... A <laughs> That's not for this forum, right? For now, I will say, I don't care whether you go and you, you intend to vote for red or blue, register. You know how much young people still not register? Then when the politicians then do foolishness, you say, don't attack, watch that one do this, and that one they do that. Your fault. And get out and agitate for the kinds of leaders, leaders that you want. Right now, you have choices to make. You people are very, very up on social media, for instance. And in the next term of government, come hell or high water, we are going to different prime minister and different kind of leadership all together. You know who has a say in that, whether you are a delegate for the PUP or UDP in these leadership conventions? You do. And I know they try to tell nobody if you vote for UDP. Nobody go for you and they quote me wrong. They say that you are as young as you feel. So I associate myself with this group of young people who, as I've said, and you have agreed with me, hold the kind of change that we need in order to fix the issues of Belize. Are you with me? I want to agree with me because you feel what I'm saying, not just because here as your Minister of Education with responsibility for youth as well, Deputy Prime Minister, I could get Emmanuel in not because, you know, we know I feel too bad. I want you to agree with me. You believe deep down inside that you can make that kind of difference. Yes. And my friends, we need to stop the talking. And some of what I might say to you today might not be compatible with what the wider government wants me to say, to hell with it.